Folks, I got a new Motion RC Avante S. Actually, it's a free wing, but Motion RC is where you get them. Um, I had another one of these, so I've done this before, but it's amazing how fast you can get these together. So I figured I would show you guys. And uh, just a quick unbox and some still pictures of how quick tricks that really make them fly good. And uh, it's 10.30 Sunday morning, so hopefully by about 1.30 or 2, we'll have pictures of it in the air. The fuselage is, is uh, very much pre-assembled on these. The only thing you really have to do is bolt the tail on and the fin. All that's bolt on, but one thing you're going to want to do right away is get the canopy out because it is not glued to the, to the uh, frame. The clear part... See, the clear part is not glued to the foam so you have to glue that on and they give you glue with it it sets up fairly quick but if you start with this you can get that done um, to where you can fly it the same day the glue that comes with it does work really well and the wings are right here in the foam uh, they're done all you gotta do is put the linkage on so start with a canopy get the glue dry in and then move to the wings and the tail and by the time you get there the canopy will be dry enough you can take it off okay tip number one on the push rod links there is uh, one that's specific to the rudder and then the flaps and elevator are the same length and the ailerons are their own length so you're gonna have four of them that are the same um, I'm gonna show a still picture here so you can see that too but the linkage you, you can get hung up on trying to get it all centered you cannot take these servo arms off without taking the servos out of the foam, which is virtually impossible. So just get them 90 degrees, get the surface centered, and then you just have to sub trim it out. Um, on If you have the, a six channel or higher radio, you can run dual elevator servos, which I'll show you how to hook that up. The circuit board in the fuselage says you can't but you can bypass that and hook it up directly to the receiver and it works just as well. The fit and finish on this airplane is exceptional. I forgot how good they really were. The mask lines and how the parts fit together. It's just awesome for foamy. Um, I did get the receiver in it. I misspoke earlier and said you need a six channel, you need a seven channel radio in order to do this, but you gotta be able to run dual elevator programming. So instead of running the single elevator into the mixing board, which essentially is just a Y harness, so you can't individually control the elevators, run dual elevator mixing and just plug the elevator servos. You can see there's one and there's the other directly into the receiver, whichever port your program uses for dual elevator. Uh, unfortunately, you can't run dual aileron on this because that mixing board has these ribbon cables that run the flaps, the gear, the aileron servos, and the lights. Um, I'm sure there's a way around that, but it's kind of complicated. And you, with ailerons, it's not quite as critical as the elevator. So I just go ahead and use it with stock. They fly fine that way. But the dual elevator does make a big difference. Took two and a half hours to get it together. Now we're out at the flying field, charging the battery up with the new Fortitude RC uh, charge case. It's got a P20 charger in it, and then the transmitter I'm using is a T14 JR. Um, the, on the test flight, as you're gonna see here in just a second, we have a grass field. It's not super smooth, but the um, landing gear on this plane has suspension. It's a trailing link on the wheels, so they kind of absorb a ton of uh, bumps okay, it, oh. it did take three clicks of aileron trim to get it dialed here uh, I just was kind of went with it I apologize for the video quality I kind of volunteered one of my buddies that he's gonna have to video it uh, we got a fast pass here as you can see that didn't really catch it on video but it sounds cool this is a dirty pass, um, as you can see from the clouds behind. It's kind of windy today. Um, it's still extremely stable. This is uh, for an unstabilized or just straight control airplane. It flies really well, slowed down. 
that was full flaps gear down obviously so now we're gonna go to half flaps with the gear up uh, it seems to really like that for just flying around and doing low passes uh, if I remember right it's right about quarter throttle maybe just a tiny bit more she just floats right on by that is so much fun after making sure everything was good the first flight I did some tweaking on the throws to try to get at the knife edge better the rudder is not super super sensitive um, the elevator seemed to be mid-rate was fine and the ailerons at mid-rate they're actually pretty hot so you may want to start on low to get used to them but in this pass right here I tried to do a four point and you can watch it fall out this is a mid-rate rudder it's not too bad and then here it just fell out on me yeah. so the next pass now I'm clicking it in a high rate rudder which is essentially just everything you can get with the with the throw available I think I got it at 120 travel volume and then that's where we're at right here and it works a hundred times better just goes right on through once again the ailerons are super touchy the elevator doesn't seem that bad and the rudder you just put in as much as you can this landing I flared it too long and did the dreaded hop to hop I left the elevator in it don't do that it does not like that well it'll just bounce and keep bouncing they want to fly so the next landing I'm going to make one more pass around the field here and you can see how to do it properly this also shows that ground handling is really good that's a choppy section of our runway you try to avoid that with those little wheels but that that trailing link suspension works pretty good at absorbing it right when I turn around you can see the grass is a little a little bit smoother right in here and you can yank it off pretty quick you don't have to really worry about it snapping out on you oh on the, uh, on the control throws for the flaps I just did zero all the way up 50 and 100 percent so if that's they don't seem to really make that much difference anything past 50 you you really don't need it so we're at 50 percent down right here and then we're gonna flare and right as it touches, I just let go of the elevator. And it rolls out beautifully. Thanks for watching, guys. Here's a list again of the equipment I've used in this project. Uh, if you got any comments or questions, just leave them in the, in the comments section, and I'll try to get to you as fast as I can. Have fun flying.